Good morning and thank you for joining our Daily Outlook. And today we'll cover the changes in the BTC USD pair. Greg will be sharing insights from our trading desk. The Bitcoin dollar pair plummeted 2.5% in the last session. According to the stochastic indicator, we are in an overbought market. The last session saw the gold gain 0.5% against the dollar. The RSI is giving a negative signal. Google stock made a minor downwards correction in the last session, falling 0.1%. The ROC is giving a negative signal. The last session saw the Aussie drop 0.3% against the dollar. The stochastic indicator is giving a negative signal. Coming up, today's major financial news. Global stocks rose after US bond yields dropped as markets awaited economic data and a plethora of corporate earnings, moving past Biden's decision to end his re-election bid. Tesla and Alphabet will kick off quarterly earnings season for the so-called Magnificent Seven. Ether ETFs are now officially trading on stock exchanges, and the preliminary inflow data for the first 15 minutes of trading has been revealed by analysts. According to Bloomberg senior analyst Eric Bokunas, Bitwise outperformed its competitors during the first quarter hour of trading, recording $25.5 million in capital inflows. Britain's FTSE 100 closed lower pressured by commodity-linked stocks which tracked declines in prices of oil and copper, while positive earnings updates from companies helped offset declines. The blue-chip FTSE 100 index was down 0.4%. And now, let's review some of today's world economic events. The UK's 30Y bond auction will be released at 9.30 GMT, the Eurozone's Eurogroup meeting at 7 GMT, Japan's Jibun Bank Manufacturing PMI at 0.30 GMT. U.S. new home sales will be released at 14 GMT. Japan's Jibun Bank Services PMI at 0.30 GMT. Finland's Producer Price Index at 5 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day.